Our first step in creating our website database is to consider the relevant implications. On your screen, you can see an explanation of functionality with a web database context. Remember that in your assessment, you need to say what the implication is and why it matters. You'll also need to explain what usability is and why it matters. And the other two relevant implications are aesthetics and social implications. To set up our database, we're going to have a look at some data. And our goal is to take our data, which will be one large table, and change it into something called third normal form. Third normal form involves organizing our data so that it's easy to find what we're looking for and we don't waste space. I asked ChatGPT for an easy explanation and it was quite good. So here's the thing. We might have a series of friends with their favorite foods. And as we can see, we've got quite a bit of repetition in their favorite foods. So what we can do is we can change things up and have two separate lists. We can have our food list where we have an ID associated with the food. Then we can go back to our list of friends and replace their favorite food with a number in the ID. The idea here is that we don't have to write pizza or tacos over and over again. And if we want to find out who likes what, we can look it up by its number. And it turns out that this makes things easier and more efficient. For this topic, you've been provided with an Excel spreadsheet which has some data. Our information tab tells us where the data is from. And there's also some important hints that we're going to use as we create our database. So here's our data. Note that in the country we don't have any repeated information, but in the region, subregion, and subregion 2 columns, we do have content that has been repeated. We also have repeated content in the national animal column. Off camera, I've gone through the steps to make this data into third normal form. And one of the steps was to copy the regions, remove the duplicates, so I ended up with six regions, and then I put in ID numbers, and I did something similar for the subregion and also for the national animal. I then used Excel to replace our repeated information with the ID numbers. I did this for the region ID, the subregion ID columns, and the national animal ID column. One thing that is missing from the country data on your screen is an overall ID for our country data. In your assessment, you'll want to create a database plan showing your table structure. You could begin with your country data, and then you simply link tables where you have repeated information. So you should have your animal ID linking to an animal table. You should have a region ID linking to a region table. And our two subregion columns will both link to our subregion table. Note that each table has a first column, which is an ID that is auto-incremented. If you've got text in a column, the data type should be variable character in most cases. And if you know the maximum number of characters you need, you should be putting that into your plan. In our animals table, we have a Boolean for whether or not it's mythical, where zero means the animal is not mythical, and one means that it is. If you do have numbers, for example, integers, you would use the integer data type. As this video is getting a little bit long, I'm going to talk you through the rest of the planning in the next video.